If nobody asked me my opinion in the sense that as, as a non-professional, if I just happened to see you on the street and I made commentary about your body simply because you were there to be seen, that's not my place and I don't think that that's absolutely right for anybody to do. Hi, this is Julian, licensed personal trainer, licensed PE teacher, and world champion powerlifter here to help you be the best you. Today, we're gonna talk about um, Queen Latifah and her mission to change the stigma of obesity. And with no disrespect to her, I think she's a legend. I think she's a beautiful woman, by the way. However, what I am going to actually say, state the fact is, is that I think you're wrong on this one, Miss Latifah. Um, actually, Miss Owens is her real name, but the reason why I say that you're wrong is because we have to not avoid the sting of the word obesity. Everything that you noted on Red Table Talk when you were on there um, in regards to how people are being treated, how people talk about you behind your back, or you know make unnecessary comments about you, those are the things that I do definitely agree with you on. We don't, you know, if nobody asked me my opinion in the sense that as, as a non-professional, if I just happened to see you on the street and I made commentary about your body simply because you were there to be seen, that's not my place and I don't think that that's absolutely right for anybody to do. Um, as a matter of fact, for many years now, I just simply thought you were a larger woman. Uh, now, I'm using this as an example because you spoke on this as a statement of fact from your end. Your personal trainer, who I who I believe has more credibility than not because they're not strictly going by opinions, they're actually doing testings and utilizing um, data to determine your, um, your health stature at that point. And your personal trainer determined that you were clinically obese. That's fine, I'm not gonna say you know, I disagree or agree. That's not the point of the video. The point of the video is, is that if in fact that you are, many people have deemed you just simply a larger woman as opposed to passing judgment on your size. And what I like to point out is, is that you, like many other people, have fell victim to unnecessary commentary and um, unfortunate commentary about one's body that causes you to feel some type of way about who you are. And I find, while I find that unfortunate, I cannot allow the, the mindset of trying to change the narrative about obesity. Yes, ob obesity could come from many different connotations. It could come from laziness, it could come from hormonal changes, it could come from bad dieting, it could come from stress. While those all are true, the thing is, is that it, your body is clearly telling you that something needs to change. And that is in fact the truth. Something needs to change. Now, by all means, I will turn around and challenge anybody to, to say that you need to be a stick figure in order to be deemed quote unquote attractive or anything like that. I think everybody would agree with me if we turn around and disagreed with the notion that Queen Latifah needs to be quote unquote skinny as a rail. But the thing is, is that the negative connotation that comes with obesity needs to remain because if without it, nobody will see the need to change for the better. Now, for those of y'all who are familiar to my channel, I y'all know that I am a high, high advocate for not allowing people to say that you're obese without proof or saying that you're fat without proof. If in fact you are, then you are. We're not gonna dance around the subject because I am not helping you become the best version of yourself by lying to you or by avoiding the truth. That is not the whole purpose of being a personal trainer. That is not the purpose of being a health professional. You have to acknowledge what is in front of you or else you can never change. Now, on the flip side, society's standards of what fitness is does in fact need to change because we are not utilizing body fat percentages, muscle mass density as a measurement to whether or not somebody is obese. We are simply using height and gravity to determine somebody's weight. 
or determine somebody's worth and value and that is not right. Everybody is deserving of love. Everybody is deserving of respect. Everybody is deserving of dignity regardless of your size or shape. For God's sakes, I'm short. You know, and I'm saying that because that is looked at negatively in society. And while that is looked at negatively in society, there is nothing I can do to change my height. There is always something one can do to change their size, which is the difference. We're talking about size over height. And I can't change my height, but we could darn, darn sure do something about our size. Now, and even then, to a certain extent, we can only do so much about our size because genetic disposition dictates whether or not we are going to be of a certain build or, build or not. Like I've told y'all before, there are 27 different body types. You can't avoid it. No matter how hard you try, you can't avoid those 27 body types. You cannot avoid being one of those body types. If you fit in one of those body types, you have a standard within your body type, but you do not have to meet the standard of society as it is deemed right now. So the, the disagreement is A, I disagree with the taking the sting out of the word obesity. I disagree with that. If you're obese, let it sting because it should make, it should feel painful so that way you can turn around and change the nature of who you are. Two, your size does not make you who you are because Queen Latifah is an Oscar nominated actress, Emmy nominated actress. She is a world renowned rapper, a legendary world renowned rapper and actually quite a good singer. So in other words, she's a fantastic entertainer and nobody could diminish her value to our society based on the fact that she's 5'11 and yay pounds. I don't know how much she weighs, so I'm not even gonna speculate. However, we, we now know that obesity is in her purview. So with all that being considered, that doesn't diminish who she is as a person. That doesn't diminish what she's contributed to our society and she deserves and garners our respect regardless of what anybody has to say about her for that matter. And I want her to know that and I want everybody else to know that as well. So don't take this as pandering because it's Queen Latifah because it's not, it is the God's honest truth. And in every woman out there, I want y'all to hear this. You have to understand that there's a difference between telling you you're not healthy as opposed to telling you that you lack value. So you have value and just because people have their preferences doesn't mean you don't have value because just as quickly as there's somebody over on this side just as quickly as acid burns bases burn too so just as quickly as somebody is adverse to your to your size somebody else is totally attracted to your size all right so don't turn around and make that the the hang-up portion of of this conversation that we're having right now i want y'all to totally totally understand that your health and your fitness are two completely separate things that are counter-related. They're both related, but they are, they are total, they, they're ships that pass in the night. So don't forget that your, your value is intrinsic. Your health is external. So that's, that's the only way that you can be the best you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and on YouTube. Have a nice day. Be the best you.